In this exploration, we'll use GeoGebra to create similar polygons, and then we'll explore the relationship between their side links and their perimeters and their areas. So start by going to GeoGebra.org and sign in so that you can save the exploration when you're finished. There are a number of options for you to sign in. You can create an account or sign in with Google and so forth. So once you're there, I want you to click on New and GeoGebra Math Apps and then choose Geometry. We'll start by changing our settings in the menu. Choose Options, Labeling, and New Points Only. Then grab the Polygon tool. From the Polygon tool, if you want to change the color of your polygons, you have options by choosing this toggle style bar and make any polygon that you want. For this example, I'll choose to make a quadrilateral, four-sided polygon. We'll also need a point that we can dilate that polygon from. So go to the Point tool and click a point anywhere. And then we're going to use a slider to work with our scale factor. So choose the slider tool and create a slider. We'll name this K since that was our scale factor, our dilation value. And the min will be 0, the max will be 3, and the increment will be 0.05. And then click OK. Next we need to grab the Dilate from Point tool, choose your polygon, then choose your point and let K be your scale factor. Now move the scale factor to find out how this impacts your new polygon. And if your polygon gets, is off your screen, you can always grab your, your point and move it to the other side and adjust accordingly. So the first side that we created is segment A, and its equivalent is segment A prime. Let's measure two of our side links. If we choose the measure tool for distance or length, we select a side length that was slide, side A. We'll also select side A prime, and we're going to allow or ask GeoGebra to calculates the difference or the ratio of those two links. To do that, we'll grab the text tool and we'll create text and we want to use the law text formula. So under advanced, we can choose law text and say I want a fraction and in place of the A, we want to put segment A prime and we do that by grabbing the GeoGebra tab and choosing side A prime and then in place of the letter B, we're going to put side A. So we're finding the ratio of the dilated polygon, the image, over the side, over the pre-image's side. Unless your mental math skills are really good, you may not be convinced that the scale factor is actually the ratio of the image over the pre-image's sides. So let's go to the menu and choose View and we're going to add the input bar. So in the input bar, let's declare a new variable. Let's call it sides. And we're going to let sides be equal to side A prime divided by side A. And now we'll double click on our text and we'll let this be equal to, we need to use the law text formula, advanced, and tell it to grab the variable named sides. And we click OK. And now we can see we need a space there. Now we can see that the scale factor is actually equal to the ratio of the dilated image's side over its original pre-image. Next, let's investigate the ratio of the polygon's perimeters. So using our measure tool again, we're going to find the distance or length, but if we click on the polygon, we'll get the perimeter of polygon ABCD, 
and also the perimeter of its image. In the input bar, let's declare a new variable. Let's call it around because we're going to find out what the ratio of the two distances around the two polygons is. So we'll let around be equal to perimeter of polygon 1. So we use a bracket and call it poly1. And actually we want poly1 prime, our second polygon. And we want to take that and divide it by the perimeter of poly1. So grab your text tool and let's go to a law text formula in advance. We want to choose the fraction again. In the first fraction, let's call this perimeter and then use two spaces of two spaces polygon A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. And in place of B, copy this, save myself some typing. We're going to make that the perimeter of polygon A, B, C, D. And we want that to be equal to the actual perimeter of polygon A, B, C, D. So we go get perimeter poly of perimeter poly one, and that's going into the A value, and perimeter poly one goes in place of B, and we want that to be equal to around. And in place of around, we actually want to go get that. And we're going to let that be equal to around. So as you can see, the perimeters also exhibit the same tendency that the side links do. When the scale factor is 1.45, the sides have a ratio of 1.45 and the perimeters have a ratio that, sim that simplifies to 1.45. So next let's explore the area. We get our measure tool and choose area. We want to find the area of both polygons. Let's declare one final variable. Let's call it poly area. So in the input box, we'll make poly area and set it equal to and the area of the polygon 1 prime is just poly 1 prime, and we're dividing that by poly 1. So now that we have our two areas, let's create one more text box. And once again, we'll get that law text formula and choose an A over B. In place of A, we want to call it area space space polygon a prime b prime c prime d prime and in place of b we're going to call this area space space polygon a b c d and we're going to let that be equal to we can preview and see what it looks like so far And we're going to go get our LaTeX formula again. A over B in place of A, GeoGebra icon, poly1 prime. In place of B, poly1. And we'll place an equal sign afterwards, and then we're going to get poly area. And preview it, and we're good to go. So now it's up to you to decide how are the areas of the polygons ratios, how do they relate to the side links or the scale factor.